Hello everybody. I know it has been quite some time since I last picked up the camera. Um, I didn't upload last week because I got COVID and I was not going to film me just laying around. So I was not really like wanting to put anything up last week. We have a surprise. Jordan came and surprised me. I will put that video in. Um, he came to surprise me, I believe, last Thursday, babe? Yeah. Last Thursday. So basically what happened was he came and surprised me and he was like, Hey, I'll be with here. I'll be with you here until we both leave for Italy so that we're like both together, you know, and doing this whole process together, kind of like how it's supposed to go. And we were under the impression that that was what was happening. And ironically, the day that he came was the day my passport came in. So, now that my passport came in, the day after he came here on Friday, we actually went and signed the passports and sent off to get my visa stamped in it, which is really exciting. So, we were really hoping that that would happen very, very quickly. But unfortunately, a few days ago, right when we were recovering from COVID, um, I think it was last Friday, um, the lady at the passport office told us, that visas are taking quite some time right now and it might take twice as long as we were expecting. So Jordan is not sure what he's doing yet with this whole process because he has guaranteed to leave until August 20th and I don't think I'll be leaving by August 20th. So I don't know, it's such a big ordeal right now. I don't know, it's like stressing us out anyways. So also on Friday, my friend Lindsay came in um and we've been hanging out with the, hanging out with her this weekend right now we're actually at my mom's house um we're just chilling we spent the night here and we also spent the night here last night friday we went to the elevation worship concert in grand prairie which is really really cool it was such a good concert very impressed with it and then yesterday we went to the dillard's clearance outlet and we got a few things and then today, the main reason why I'm vlogging is because Jordan was not here for our second year anniversary and he is going to surprise me tonight with a gift and somewhere. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're really doing. I mean, I have an idea, but he has not told me and I'm really excited. We'll probably head to Farmersville here in about an hour or so. I got COVID last week and like, it's still, it's kind of lingering. Like we obviously quarantined, but like I still kind of have a sneeze thingy, like sneezing around drainage and my eyes are kind of watery and Jordan has a little bit still. So Lindsay just left, actually. She left like 20 minutes ago and she went off to a doctor's office um, for an appointment and then she's going back to Abilene. And repack so that we can go to a hotel tonight and we will actually get ready at the hotel for whatever we have tonight. I know that it's gonna be fancier at the Dillard's outlet. I got a dress and everything. So let's bring you along with our whole day for my anniversary surprise. Yes. Who won at Madden? Get the camera out of my face. Stop! Who was it? Was it you or was it me? It was you, okay. Ah! Yes it was! Cowboys won. Okay guys, it's later. We went went to the houses, we said hi to my family, we got our stuff packed up, and then now we are kind of in Dallas. I think we're in Garland right now. But we are, I don't know where we are, honestly. I just know that we are headed on our way, and I honestly have no idea where we're going, and that's the first, because I feel like I usually catch up on things. But not this time. Um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm starving. Jordan and I are so hungry. I was we like, should we pre-game at McDonald's? My eyes are closed. Yeah. Where's the air? You can look. Where are we at? Oh, we're at the Omni Hotel. We are at the Omni Hotel, baby. This hotel is where we had our honeymoon-ish thing. And at the time, we... Um, we're in the middle of COVID, so everything was closed. So now we can actually go and enjoy our time. Is Are we eating inside the restaurant? No, we're going to a different restaurant. Oh. Guys, we can't even find our place in this hotel. 
This hotel has 23 Three. stories. And I don't like that <laughs> sound of the elevator. We're on floor 16. We're on the 19th floor, so. Oh my gosh, it's shaking. I don't like elevators. Oh my gosh. Okay, Okay guys, so we're finally in our hotel and this is the exact view that we had at our honeymoon. Ooh, it's crazy how high up we are. I don't even know how many, well, we're almost at the top, aren't we? Yeah, so we're almost at the top. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give a room tour while the room is clean. Not all rooms look like this because our room last time did not look like this. The room last time we had that was bigger. I think it was a suite. Anyways, there's a fridge down here. Got some waters there. It's a closet right here. And then super cool, the mirror has a TV in it so you can watch while you're showering, I guess. And then this is the bathroom. In the shower. So then you come out, lovely full length mirror right here. And then there's like the sit down area, the bed, some Me. nightstands, <laughs> Jordan, the view of Dallas, and then I guess kind of a little area to sit. And a desk with the TV. This TV is beautiful. It's huge, flat screen. Love it. Okay, guys, so I'm about to get ready to do my makeup. I don't think I really explained how the hotel that we're staying at is kind of significant. So, if you live in Dallas or you've been through Dallas um, at night, you have probably seen this big hotel. I'll probably put a picture in here. You'll see this big hotel that lights up and it can do like different words and like um, designs on the side of it, and it's really, really cool. And so that's the hotel that we're staying in and i believe it's a four or five star hotel so it's pretty nice it's luxurious it has shops in it has restaurants it has valet parking you know just like the whole nine yards so that's why we are kind of excited to stay here it's not just some holiday and it's like a super nice you know hotel as you can tell okay guys i am done with my makeup and my hair now jordan looks so good but i just want to show you my dress got this dress from Dillard's was a the Dillard's clearance outlet and oh my gosh it's beautiful it's this like perfect purple color I don't know how to explain it but I'll show you when it's on but this was only like $25 it was so cheap and it's just beautiful the way it fits and then I got these shoes at Altered State I just think they're so adorable Jordan probably hates them but <laughs> He probably thinks they're weird, but I just have been wanting a shoe with like a clear heel for the longest time. They're a size too big, so they kind of flop around, but they were only $8, guys, at Altered State. $8. So I was just like, well, I have to have them. Plus, I don't have any heels to match this dress, so that's what I'm going to be wearing. Guys, I can't get over this dress. Oh my gosh. And the shoes in Jordan looks so good oh, oh my gosh it looks so good this is like my favorite tie it's actually my dad's and it matches perfect little navy oh, blue slacks i know brown, belt, brown shoes so good sure. can't wait to go out happy second anniversary to us <laughs> okay so now we're headed to where we're going i don't know Maybe we'll see when we get there valet parking did take a little bit um they do have valet parking here which we just were discussing that that it's like really nice to have a valet parking but then when you are kind waiting of, on your car and you're in a of, rush you get, yeah you have to get somewhere. it's a little hard to be on time i guess just so always to be early at valet parking and i always forget that there's two huskies right there oh they start oh western God. street um oh, so that's where the building, JFK, where the shooter was, and then this X over here. Oh, you can really right see here. it. That's where he got shot, and then here's we the memorial. We ate lunch over here. We did. It's a really cool memorial. Very sad, though. Can I open my eyes? Yes, you can open your eyes. So we now know there are 
covers 17 tracks. What is this? Two of which are collaborations. No, it's I definitely want to bring this up because they are very Bob's? Exciting. What's Bob's? One is the it's a really nice track. restaurant. And Kane is it's a nice restaurant? Yeah. To it's a steakhouse. I did not wait the chop house. Together. I'm really wow. It's a really nice steak and chop house. I'm very surprised. I didn't even know what Bob's was. Huh? I didn't know what Bob's was. There's one at the Hobby Hotel, but I didn't want to give it away. Oh my gosh, there's one at the hotel? Yeah. No idea what I'm going to get. They just brought me this big thing of bread. And I'm about to eat it. The whole thing. By myself. $1,150 for a bottle of wine. Just kidding, I lied. There's a $3,000 one. I think we should get that one. That's how much you're worth. Oh. 1948 Prosecco. <laughs> Let me see the wine. Nice, nice. Where's it from? Is it from like home country now? From Italy? Home country? Oh my gosh, try it. That is really good. Is it good? Let me that try. Is, that is really good. That is really good. That's really good. <laughs> Cheers. All right, first part of the meal, we got a salad. I got a salad with ranch, and then he got a salad with Thousand Island. All right, guys, so we got a ribeye medium, glazed carrots, mashed potatoes, and mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they gave us a free dessert for our anniversary, so we chose the chocolate peanut Look butter pe sundae. <laughs> like, babe, it is so heavy. It's like three It reminds pounds. me of the thing on Weenie Hut Jr. on Spongebob. <laughs> Babe, how heavy it is. Oh, that is heavy and it's warm. This too. is like probably 10 pounds of food right here. Whatever. I feel sick. Back right to the hotel now and my stomach is so full. But it was well needed and it was I really, really good. I feel sick. We were feeling okay until that peanut butter brownie sundae thing Yes, I... was too much, but they were super sweet and it was free because we're celebrating our anniversary, so um, the service was great, the food was great, it's just all around it's such a great place. You know, it's a five-star restaurant, so it's very fancy and they cater to your needs and anyways, now we're heading back to the hotel because Jordan says that he has a gift for me. He got me a new wedding ring and band set because the one that I have is um a little old and just dirty and tarnished and And you're very oblivious. Huh? Yeah, you know why? Why? Because this is a new ring. It is a new ring. Look. Oh Look wow. Wow. This one's like just, I literally got fishing line on it to keep them held together, but it's like the colors just tarnished. I'm still going to wear them and I'm still going to use them, but this is going to be like my new pair. And I just love the shape of this one. Ah, oh, so beautiful. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> it's currently like what? It's, it's almost 10. Yeah. So we're actually about to go eat um, at like a little brunch place downtown. So 
had a great time. I had a great time with you. Thank you. Of course. Came out. I got yogurt and a muffin. Jordan got toast in a skillet scramble. We just left the brunch place and that was so good. I honestly wasn't expecting it to be that good. Like I knew it was gonna be good food, but. Okay guys, so we decided we're gonna go to the Perot Museum, which if you obviously don't live around here, you've never been, you'll see some shots that I'm gonna take. It's a really cool museum. It has a lot of like interactive exhibits. Um, it's really busy today. I'm kind of surprised because it's a Tuesday and the parking lot is full But we'll see Jordan's never been so I've never been here, I've been here three times I think because I've been here for school because I was in GT gifted and talented <laughs> GT gifted and talented What'd you just get? The free pickles They're free so we just got to the museum. Long story short, I was thirsty. I got a diet root beer. They're like, ma'am, you can't take this the museum. So right as I was leaving, one of my old bosses from Omaha was here. Shout out Morgan if you watch my vlog. It's great to see you. It was crazy. She was like, Ashlyn? And I was like, Morgan, what the heck? I'm like, why are you here? So I knew that her boyfriend's family lived in Dallas, but the odds of seeing them, crazy. Let's take a look at your weekly weather report. Greatest storms are in the forecast for Monday. Actions are already clogging the forecast. It's slippery this morning, so be careful out there. Later this week, you can expect more weather. This is a coffee. Look how soft that looks. That looks really soft. I want to touch it. Look at me. I didn't get you a diet, Dr. Kelp. This is definitely diet. Did it's you hear not me? diet, Dr. Kelp. Uh, we went to Sonic and you know me, I'm pickle obsessed. So I had to get the pickle slush. So I got a mini just in case I don't like it. Because if it's artificial tasting, I don't want it. Artificial tasting, I don't want it. <laughs> That's disgusting. Is it really? What does it taste like? It's so gross. What does it taste like? It's like sweet. Like. It's not like. It's not sour. It's not like a pickle, like a frozen pickle juice. That's what I was expecting. It's like sweet, like a sweet, like bread and butter mixed with. No. Mm, That's not bread it. and butter. Now I have to go home and eat a real pickle because I'm just disappointed. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it now. Um, give, give it to the kids. I should be like, kids, it's a green apple slush. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> now? Yeah. <laughs> What's it taste like? No, it's fine, it's good. <laughs> you like it? What does it taste like? <laughs> really sour! <laughs> Okay, hey everybody, so I'm gonna close the vlog here. I hope that y'all enjoyed this week's video. I am so excited that we got to bring y'all along. And of course, like always, I will be keep giving updates on all my other social media platforms if something happens between now and next week with this whole military visa process thing. But anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe and check out my other videos, especially some of my military content videos and a background on this whole process and what's happening. Anyways, with that being said, I will see y'all next week. Bye guys! Bye.